it's time to declare your word the bible said the entrance of your word brings light and it gives understanding to your simple father let me speak but preach by your spirit let me talk but bring out revelations to your people heal the sick by your spirit deliver the press by your spirit make a way for somebody by your spirit and put the enemy to shame anoint me with fresh fire for the sake of your people let heaven come down according to your word i thank you father that it is done in jesus name i call it done somebody clap your hands get excited somebody said that the greatest gift that anyone can achieve or receive is not a degree from harvard but the greatest gift that anyone can achieve is resilience for life and with resilience i mean the ability to say no to the obstacles of life we have a lot of people with phds dq wise first degrees from harvard from yale but we don't have many people who have resilience for life if you study history very well, you will come to the realization that most people who were able to make it were not necessarily graduates from Harvard. But they were ordinary people with a tenacity or resilience to make it in life. For the Bible said, the just shall live by faith. If you have your Bible, I'm preaching this morning on what I've titled Developing an Attitude for an Open Door. Developing an Attitude for an Open Door. Paul said in 1 Corinthians chapter number 16, he said, an effectual and great door has been opened before me but many are the adversaries and because of that I will not see you now but I will tarry at Ephesus until the day of Pentecost because I really want to refire my fire and on the day of Pentecost which is symbolic of the outpouring of the Holy Ghost that appeared as fire, I will revisit Pentecost again for the sake of my open door. Now it means that in life, doors are open for us every day. Some are able to enter. Others are not able to enter. Not because the door is not open for them, but because they are not developed enough to enter the door. I pray for you. That in 2012, no door will open without you entering. Take three steps and shout, I will enter that door. I will enter that door. If you are in this world, and you cannot handle pressure you don't qualify to be in the well because the world is for people who can handle pressure pastor i am where i am because there are witches in my family no because there are witches in everybody's family a young man came to me and said pastor pray for me i said what he said, what happens is that when I see women, something happens to me. I said, do you know what happens to us when we see women? I said, something happened to everybody here. But it is those who have tenacity and discipline who are able to say no. 
Because not every meal is for your stomach. I'm preaching from Luke chapter 18. And if you hear this word and finish, nothing can stop you. And he spoke a parable to this effect that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Look into your Bible. And he spoke a parable after this effect that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Now it means that in this world, if you see anybody who is a failure, it is a result of lack of continuous prayer. What prayer does is that it makes you contact heaven. And when you contact heaven, heaven also contacts you. Now when heaven contacts you, it brings into your domain the presence of the Lord. And the Bible said, wherever the presence of the Lord is, there is liberty. It doesn't matter the barrier, the opposition, the witches, the wizards, the impediments that stand before you. When the Lord is with you, who then can be against you? Prayer is contacting heaven for heaven to contact you. And Jesus said, as long as you are a man, you must pray always. And not friend. If you meet people, if you meet people who easily give up on life, they are not men of prayer. Because let me tell you something. God will allow barriers to come against you, not to stop you, but to toughen you. When I finished this form, I lived in Kumasi and I live in a typical Muslim community called Abu Abu. And I came to realization that if you don't have strength to fight, you can't live there. So I went to learn karate for four years. I didn't learn taekwondo. I learned kung fu for four years. And watch this. The first day I went to training, I fell sick. Because my body had to readjust to meet the new assignment before me. And in this world, the same way, every new door comes with an opposition. And if you are able to subdue the opposition, then you qualify for your position. It is the subduing of your opposition that gives you power to be in your position. And somebody must write that one down. It is the subduing of your opposition that gives you power to be in your position. If you don't subdue your opposition, you cannot be in your position. Opposition, you see, when a test is run in a class, the test is not run to make anybody fail. The test is there to what? Promote. And Jesus said that men ought always to pray. And not to faint. And the Bible said, and he spoke a parable. Now, a parable is an earthly illustration to give you heavenly insight. This is a good this one. You have to write. You are a teacher. You should be writing. Parables are earthly illustration for heavenly insight. Jesus said. If I tell you things that are heavenly, how can you understand if I don't give you earthly illustration? Now, earthly illustrations for heavenly insight is what we call a parable. And he spoke a parable to this effect that if you are a man, you must pray always and not to Because you see, if you don't pray always for heaven to come down into your domain, you will see things, you will hear things, you will meet people that will cause you to get back. But I declare over you, you will never retreat. You will not surrender. You will move forward. If you meet mountains, you will climb it. If you meet rivers, you will swim through it. If you meet barriers, you will jump through over it. Take three steps and shout, I will enter, I will enter. 
I will enter. And there was in the city a certain judge who did not fear God and did not regard any man. And in the same city there was also a widow. They were put together in the same container. That is why God doesn't care whether there are witches in your house. If a few that doesn't vacate this season, Kremo will vacate. I say Kremo will vacate. Let me tell you something. You are not running to anywhere. You were not made to run. You were made to stay. Your enemies will either run from you. In the same city where there was a judge who didn't fear God, had no respect for man, there was also a widow, a woman without a covering. The word widow in the Greek means when a woman is uncovered, 